In this video, we're going to take a look at how to install Factory Talk Logics Echo on a virtual machine. Installing Factory Talk Logics Echo on a virtual machine is straightforward and simple, basically the same as installing it on a physical workstation. Simply download the installation package and then run the setup executable from the installation folder and follow the instructions, taking care to reboot your virtual machine when the installation process completes. One key difference, however, is that since a virtualized environment must share the CPU and memory resources with the host operating system, care must be taken to ensure that the virtual machine running Factory Talk Logics Echo has adequate CPU and memory resources allocated to it so that an acceptable level of performance is maintained for the end user. Here are some key points to keep in mind. First, for CPU resources, you want to ensure that the host operating system has an Intel multi-core processor with a minimum total of six or more logical cores. For memory, the host workstation should have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. When allocating CPU and memory resources for your virtual machine, you'll need, at a minimum, one logical core for the operating system, two logical cores for the base Factory Talk Logics Echo application, and at least one logical core for each emulated controller instance. For best performance, two logical cores per emulated controller instance is recommended. For memory, ensure that your virtual machine has at least 8 gigabytes of RAM or more. So as an example, if we want to run a single emulated controller on our virtual machine, we would want to configure our VM's resource settings for at least 4 logical cores and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, the specific steps for configuring CPU and memory allocation for the virtual machine will depend on the specific virtualization platform being used. So let's take a quick look at two of the most common virtualization platforms, VMware and Hyper-V. On VMware, first ensure that your virtual machine is powered off. Then from your virtual machine's home tab, select Edit Virtual Machine Settings, or from the upper left menu option, select VM and then Settings. In the resulting Virtual Machine Setting dialog box, with the memory page highlighted, set the memory slider to at least 8 gigabytes. If your host workstation has, say, 32 gigabytes of installed RAM, you can safely set this memory allocation to as much as 16 gigabytes. Next, highlighting the processors page, note that you can select both the number of processors and the number of cores per processor. Also note that there is a value shown below these two fields that indicates the total processor cores, which is simply the product of the two values that you entered above. This total core processor value should be at least four or more to ensure that you have adequate performance for Factory Talk Logics Echo. But the specific values you select for number of processors and number of cores per processor will depend on your host workstation's physical processor specifications. An easy way to verify this is to use Task Manager, which we can easily launch by right-clicking on the Windows taskbar and then selecting Task Manager. In Task Manager, simply click on the Performance tab to view your physical processor specifications. In this particular example, we can see that there are six cores and up to 12 logical processors. Though the terminology being used by VMware is slightly different than what we see here in Windows Task Manager, we can infer from these specs that in VMware terminology, we have a total of six processors with up to two cores per processor to work with since Task Manager shows that there are up to two logical processors per core. Returning then to our VMware processor settings, we can safely allocate two processors and two cores per processor, giving us a total of four processor cores for our virtual machine, which is the minimum processor configuration required to ensure adequate performance for our one emulated controller instance in Factory Talk Logics Echo. Click OK to save your changes and then power on your virtual machine to begin configuring your Factory Talk Logics Echo controller. If you're using the Microsoft Hyper-V virtualization platform, the process is actually quite similar. From the Hyper-V Manager console, highlight your virtual machine in that top center pane and then select Settings in the lower right hand pane. On the Memory page, you can simply enter your memory allocation into the RAM field at the top of the page. For 8 gigabytes, enter 8,192 megabytes. For 16 gigabytes, enter 16,384 megabytes. Remember, take care not to allocate more than about 50% of your host workstation's actual physical RAM to ensure that your host OS has adequate resources as well. On the processor page, set the number of virtual processors to four or more. 
Again, taking care to ensure that your selection leaves at least two virtual processors for your host OS. Click OK to save your settings and then connect and start your virtual machine. Whether using VMware or Hyper-V, your virtual machine is now configured to ensure that Factory Talk Logic's Echo will perform well when running a single emulated controller instance. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out all the other great technical content on Rockwell Automation's YouTube channel.